in getting getting on board in in different ways, both in in general terms and uh, and the twinning on air, of course. So we are live once again, streaming worldwide straight to the uh, screens of thousands and thousands of e twinning interested folks. <laughs> around the world uh it is tuesday it's been a long day as usual when we get this thing cranked up but heck that's that's what keeps us going at least me uh, and um tuesday what that's it october 13 yep um and i am nilo hello from the north pole almost not oh. quite northern sweden as usual e twinning ambassador teacher um what else some kind some kind of a podcast and hangout on air guru that's what i say myself at least since this thing is both a uh, live webcast i like the expression webcast it's beautiful live video on the web uh, through hangouts on air and thereby also through youtube so um we get a recording of the whole thing video recording uh, like for free uh, just like that automatically so it's basically pretty much like uh, magic <laughs> and um we have this show title um something like get them on board what the heck was the show title <laughs> 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 get on board. I think it was get on board. Uh, so um, we'll see if, if we uh, if we can uh, can crack crack that thing. How to get people on board? Uh, Tina, it's your turn. Uh, who are you? Where are you? What are you doing? So hello, I'm Tina, and I'm from Finland, and I'm a project coordinator for the Finnish National. Board of Education, and then I'm a twinning ambassador. So I, I think here I'm mostly in the role of an ambassador, and and my minor role is is uh, the project coordinator. And that's as an ambassador, of course, I'm very much involved in getting people on board in a twinning. So that's my, I think that's very important for for ambassadors to to encourage people to to join, register, and, 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 and start finding partners and so on. So that's what I'll, I'll do. I also I do uh, quite, a, quite a lot. Yep, I, I guess we've been, um, we've been talking uh, earlier as well about the fact that the, uh, the e-twinning ambassador's role varies quite a bit from mm -hmm. one country to another. And perhaps even uh, from, or it does, from one school to another. In case you work, work or one person to another. Yeah. By the way, Tina, you might adjust your camera just a little bit. I do see you, but uh, now I do see you even better. Okay. <laughs> that's that's great. Yeah. Yep. So, um, like, uh, I think for um, for quite a few Swedish ambassadors. Um, the uh, time that is available for the mission work is kind of limited. Mm -hmm. uh, even though there are are definitely possibilities for us to uh, to uh, get a little bit of funding from from the uh, national support service in case uh, we want to run some kind of a, a meetup or or. Uh, training session or whatever right yeah. right but, but i guess not... i guess for you it's like like a uh, normal routine that you are running running those um, yeah. training sessions huh right yeah i think uh, um well last week i had two hmm. and uh, but not that but i i think maybe this um uh this uh, fall this autumn um altogether maybe Hey, Helen is coming. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice. So maybe ten, and um, yeah. So it's about 
uh, from maybe for for a month or three a month. Yeah. Once a week, so you could say once a week, yeah, and of course in in December in the schools are sort of uh, oriented towards Christmas, so they don't want any any special trainings in mm -hmm. December and and in in uh, uh, August they're not ready for any <laughs> special <laughs> things they have to. They have to just, you know, <laughs> they suffer from the shock of school <laughs> starting. Yeah, that's it takes heck a of few a shock. weeks. That's yeah. heck of a shock, Anthony. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Helene, you must say uh, hi to the thousands of viewers and, and uh, give us a brief <laughs> intro. Do you hear us okay, by the way? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Uh, can you hear me? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Yes. yes, indeed. That's great. Uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> great to see you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah, uh, my name is Helena, and I work uh, at uh, Ramstad Secondary School in uh, County Bærum. That's uh, in Norway. And, in in uh, southern southern Norway, right? Yeah, it's quite close to the capital, um, mm -hmm. Oslo. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I've been working here for quite a while. So it's w but it's is, always nice. What is quite a while? <laughs> quite a while is uh, I think this is my twelfth. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah, I've been working uh, at my school quite a while as well, yes. say some <laughs> 15 or whatever. Yeah. Well, you, you, well, do you really work? Because I've seen you traveling me? around. Are you, are you talking <laughs> to me, <laughs> Helena? She's, no, I'm talking to Helen <laughs> okay. because I think she was in <laughs> from Finland to Latvia or uh, yeah. and then to yeah. Italy. And uh, so, do you, do you that, have these very, a, very, very long holidays? Or? Yeah. <laughs> that is a very good question. Are you on a long holiday instead of uh, working hard, Helen? <laughs> Oh, um, I've been lucky because my school actually this year took um, the whole uh, staff along for a seminary in Latvia, Riga. Ah. So uh, that's the first time in my 12 years that we were, uh, we've gone abroad. Yeah, and, that sounds good. Yeah. And yeah, we had to work with um, vis uh, our vision actually. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Because we're going to expand and have about 200 more students in just two years, so we'll be about a school of ne nearly 800 students. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then we saw the need to cooperate more. Yeah. And um, get together in a more social environment. Yeah. Yeah. So it was really useful. Yeah, building up a community feeling. Yeah. Building yeah. Up a yeah, and strength and ties. We have uh, quite a lot of new teachers this year, and we're so big that we can't. We don't see each other every day. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So it was good. I, I think I've been lucky. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I'm. I'm not. You know, going anywhere. It seems. Uh, <laughs> at at come, least. Just uh, come you know. back from. from well. Your... Well. What, whatever trips I make, so I pay them out of my own purse. <laughs> That's the only way to go somewhere, for heaven's sake. Ah, uh, well, perhaps but someday. You know, but someday. Nilo, you haven't you haven't only been going; you've been flying. Flying. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, I, I took in, a week in the off. During That's the summer. what you mean. I took a week off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no, no. In the summertime, mm -hmm. when you. Summertime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You were flying. very excited about flying with your friend. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, small. sure. Yes. Sure. Airplane. Oh, that that's real flying. Flying like uh, <laughs> I know. Small planes. Flying that is, that is cool. I was yeah. quite en I was quite envious, you know. Yeah, yeah. It was it was great fun, definitely. Uh, I hope I can I can uh, I can like uh, join my my uh, friends some other time as well. Great mm. fun. But I was talking about trips, you know, yes, like uh, seeing the world yes. and meeting the colleagues. I was talking yes. about work, yes. basically. Yes, you know? yes, you work. know. Yeah, you're talking about Helsinki, maybe. Yeah, Helen, maybe, maybe. Helen, Helen, it, I it didn't. I didn't even. They didn't even invite me to my own mm. darn country. You know? <laughs> oh man. Helen, that, that could you, sucks, could you, really. could you tell us a uh, little about uh, the ambassadors meeting in, by the, by in Helsinki, the, way, before, the Scandinavian before in, ambassadors? Before you get into the ambassadors meeting mm -hmm. in, in Helsinki, and Tina, you weren't there either, huh? No, no, I wasn't invited I either. Never say. I have never been here? invited. But anyway, yeah. uh, theoretically speaking, someone might be listening or watching mm. who doesn't know much about mm. e learning. So no. why not just tell everyone that this is about European Union school collaboration still going on strong after 10 years. So it's mm. like the uh, 
amazing celebration year right now. That's about it. And uh, we are the ambassadors. It's just mm -hmm. three of us in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it seems today at least. <laughs> uh, no, there are, there are a bunch of ambassadors mm -hmm. uh, from pretty much every uh, European country, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And um, uh, these people are supposed to spread the word and uh, you know, like uh, uh, train, uh, run training sessions and and whatnot. And sometimes there might be a possibility to get on a trip somewhere in Europe and uh, meet other folks, other ambassadors, mm. uh, other teachers as well. Mm -hmm. And um, there was one of these trips uh, recently. And that was in my old home country, Finland. Uh, and Helena, you were there, right? Yes. Um, we uh, we went to Helsinki to an island just or a peninsula just off outside of the Helsinki called uh, Hanaholmen. Oh yeah, I know that. I know that. I I just walked around. I walked around this this uh, building, and actually we were in there as well uh, this mm -hmm. summer. Yes. Pretty neat, huh? It was really beautiful mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of artwork both inside uh, the facility and uh, uh, in the park surrounding it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this time uh, the ambassadors meeting was uh, more about sharing experiences All right. than it was last year. Because last year I think we had a, li a more um, work like you and me, uh, uh, Nilo, we worked in uh, a little task force mm -hmm. and we made some products mm -hmm. and there were other groups working uh, with similar but different tasks. Yeah. This year it was more sharing experiences and how to promote e-twinning towards your county or um, maybe um, how to promote e-twinning in social media. Mm -hmm. uh, it was um, sharing of experience with someone who is actually working in the. <laughs> some, um, some people are actually working. Huh? No, uh, working in 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 the county, okay, and okay. Uh, <laughs> others working uh, in um, in schools, but uh, who has uh, a network uh, towards the county or uh, other networks. So we try to share more experiences mm -hmm. with with topics. Uh, being how to promote e-twinning even more. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the most um, uh, topics that the most people wanted to discuss was how to get even more new teachers who might who might have registered for e-twinning, how to have them uh, participate in the project. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because talking about talking about getting on board, getting know. on board to get mm -hmm. past the registration and mm -hmm. into a project. Mm -hmm. And um, for Norway's sake, I think we've got almost 30 or 30 plus percent of the schools, maybe uh, even more, 40 percent maybe of the school, they are engaged with e-twinning, mm -hmm. but only 4 percent of the teachers. Mm -hmm. So it's um, it's a challenge to uh, to reach out and find the right persons who yeah. might. Uh, who might uh, think that you know, this is something for me mm -hmm. and to make maybe the threshold a bit lower to try it the first time. So that was the most discussed topic I think yeah. uh, how to, to bring and we shared experiences, some showed some PowerPoints or slides um, that they had uh, made and so we tried to to share some experience how to to do this better in the future. Mm. Did you and get any, any do you have any any um, good practices to share any new ideas? There were um, quite a lot of uh, ex uh, projects that uh, were showed the Norwegian ex uh, ambassadors they have had three projects so that or ambassadors who presented projects, uh, one who won one of the awards this year or last year, I think this year isn't yeah. decided yet, but last year, so they presented that project uh, called Sound, yeah, uh, Sound Masters or Sound. Uh, I can't remember the project name exactly, okay. but yeah, they, it was good. And they showed some of the tools they had used and some of the experiences in collaboration because that is the tricky part. Yeah. So, yeah, it was good practices and also 
uh, discussions uh, in groups. Yeah. And sharing of ideas in twin space. How many Hello. how many ambassadors were present, by the way, roughly? I think roughly maybe um, thirty five hmm. something. Yeah, I think that an estimate. And we missed you both. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. of course, of course you did. Dare say anything yes. else, you know? Oh, we missed you. You know, you know, because because we we actually sent you pictures. The, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, documented. Yeah. Yeah. Very very nice. Very nice. Yeah. It was the next best thing. Yeah. <laughs> So we were thinking uh, about you, and, uh, and uh, I got to news, meet some new persons that I didn't know of, and uh, make some uh, old acquaintances, talk to old acquaintances once again. So it was always uh, on that. that it was yeah, yeah. the social. How, how many were from Finland? There was Antti, I think, and Steve. Yeah, uh, Antti and Steve. Yeah. Any others? Yes, uh, they were. In addition to Mia, I think they were. I think from each country, maybe between five and ten. Mm -hmm. I know okay. from Norway, we were, for sure we were, uh, I think, six. But then Lisbeth and Torbjörn were among those, so maybe we were seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think that's true. So it was, it was a good experience. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we have uh, our ambassadors, uh, Finnish ambassadors, <laughs> meeting at the end of uh, October or. Or at the beginning of uh, at the turn of the month, so mm. uh, I'll probably hear more about that then. You can invite me there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love I'm, to. I'm fully qualified. Yeah, I think yeah. it's feel just fine. I promise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it will, it will be a, a sort of a interesting because we have two ambassadors for the first time. Two ambassadors have have uh, you know given up. Maybe mm. you uh, remember Tuya. Oh yes. Yeah. From from. Uh, She's very very cool person. She's mm. also Absolutely. almost like my best uh, colleague among mm. ambassadors, and, yeah, and she's, she's really very nice. yes, she's, hey, she's very, yeah, <laughs> and and very very um, sort of um, uh, mm, great ideas about mm. uh, about learning and mm -hmm. and so on. She, so she's concentrating on the curriculum reform, but uh, right. I, I think maybe I'm, I'm, I think that maybe I'm, I've, I've joined a project with her. Okay. okay. I think so, because she's but called... She's, she, I, know. I, I, th I was thinking about uh, her surname. Is it, does it start with a P? No, no. No, H no it's Tuya Lindstrom. She was ah, Lindstrom. Right, Lindstrom. Okay, right. then it's a different person yeah. then. Mm. Yeah, because yeah. I thought maybe it wasn't such a common name. Yeah, not, not, not an uncommon yeah. name. It's pretty common, I think. Okay, yeah. okay. So yeah, but then I I'm hope. I'm okay. in a project uh, just starting up uh, right now about with yeah. the two yeah, but her per surname I think starts with a P, hmm. and yeah. we're going to discuss um, a project or work together in a project about the old man and his Fiat 600. Okay. The old man and his Fiat 600. Okay. And he's very nearsighted, and he drives. You know, he takes the wrong way a lot of times, and uh, gets into a lot of different experiences in different countries in Europe. Okay, <laughs> I understand. Okay. So he will be in Finland definitely <laughs> yeah, with Tuta, yeah. and in Norway with us. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Actually, oh, Tuya, Tuya is now working. And she's she's not uh, teaching at the yeah. moment, and 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 she's anyway she's a science teacher. Okay. But she's working as a as a mm, sort of full full time uh, mentor, uh, an op uh, curriculum coordinator, and also mm. ICT cool. coordinator. Yeah. So, so, cool. so it's um, we need these kind of people who who mm -hmm. ha have have this big picture mm -hmm. of of, uh, of the whole whole um, sort of thing we are doing and, mm -hmm. and, and pedagogical sort of ideas. Mm. But it's sad that, that she's dro dropped out from e twinning mm. now. Mm. Mm. No, it's true, but uh, it is a it is a hectic um, it is he a hectic uh, you know um, every day is quite hectic. So finding time and uh, yeah. room to be an ambassador sometimes is uh, they, we discussed it you know also a little bit in the presentations that uh, you know the luck of pres uh, of recruiting new persons is not always you know with us. So mm -hmm. different ways to find pe people who will benefit from collaboration. 
I think, or find it interesting and want to join. That's uh, sometimes not so easy. Mm. I've had, uh, I've, I've given now, I think, uh, five uh, workshops, eight winning mm -hmm. workshops. Uh, so far uh, this uh, fall this autumn mm. and um, twice I had uh, all the teachers from the the school mm. present so I had wow. more than 35 wow. five uh, teachers mm. taking part in the workshop and they mm. all registered that's always the idea mm. I, yeah, I just, yeah, sure. uh, encouraged them to register before mm -hmm. the actual workshop so mm. that we can we can study the tools uh, mm -hmm. I first give about 20 minutes presentation about the, the structure of the different sort of platforms mm -hmm. uh, uh, but, and, uh, and then we go and start working so, mm -hmm. so but um, yeah that's uh, uh, the thing that the, the whole school approach is sort of it's a nice thing and it's mm -hmm. because of the new curriculum as I've told uh, uh, and, and before Nilo mm -hmm. at least knows that mm -hmm. in our new curriculum in Finland mm -hmm. the core curriculum it's uh, uh, it's very clearly stated that each student will mm -hmm. have to have uh, 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 connections or uh, or um, uh, and experiences of, mm -hmm. of networking mm -hmm. with uh, other students in, in different countries. Mm -hmm. So I mean that's really great and that's, oh, yeah. that's what, what I, I'd, I'd really mm -hmm. love to have um, in, in Sweden as well. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing like that. <coughs> and, uh, it really is right. up, to the, uh, up to the schools mm -hmm. and, and the school districts how this thing turns out if it mm -hmm. if it turns out into anything you know really good or not mm -hmm. and uh, that is a bit of a pain uh, mm -hmm. I think pretty much it, it's up to the actually it's up to the school leaders themselves mm -hmm. if the the uh, whatever you know like the school district folks are not um, getting getting uh, putting international collaboration high mm -hmm. enough on the priority list mm -hmm. and um, that's a big problem you know, it's, it's really mm -hmm. really tough to get get international collaboration mm -hmm. going if, if the uh, if you don't get the support from a little bit higher up mm -hmm. <laughs> right. I it's agree yeah. I yeah. think okay. uh, my school we've had with uh, since we're going to expand where it starting a little bit over uh, or looking at our cards anyway in a new way and we, in our development plan we have um, put e-twinning on the agenda yeah, well that's that's kind of some that's kind of a thing that, that mm. really can make a difference you know mm. I'm, I'm hoping so but it doesn't mean that it happens overnight yeah. <laughs> no no I, no, I understand that. It's, no. it's yeah. include it's included in the plan so yeah it's, yeah like, sure yeah. but it's there at least. yeah mm. it's like the included in the curriculum it yeah. is uh, it is a norm of mm. course, it is uh, something that is you have to follow. Mm. So, uh, so sort of parents might, you mm. know, ask, come and ask. Yeah. Okay, in, mm -hmm. in the curriculum, it mm -hmm. says that they mm -hmm. need to have these these international contacts. So, yeah. can yeah. you tell <laughs> me about them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. right. So, so right. it's it's it is something that, you, and uh, even so, it's it, the norm is so strong that uh, parents mm. might. Uh, you know, sue the the school mm -hmm. if it doesn't follow the mm -hmm. uh, the the um, curriculum. Mm -hmm. So, so um, mm -hmm. I don't then know if that's happened, but but anyway, there is this uh, strong pressure now, mm -hmm. and that's why some. And of course, in these cases where the all the teachers have, have taken part, it is it mm -hmm. was because the headmaster sure. mm -hmm. um, ordered them to. Of yeah, course, they yeah. wouldn't have right. liked to come there, all of them, after school, <laughs> in the afternoon, <laughs> after a very tiring school day. They were really enthusiastic <laughs> about it. Did, did you offer some refreshments? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing? No, no refreshments, no. Oh, darn. I would I would have you know like yeah. uh, a little bit of wine or something you know. <laughs> that might yeah, make that a difference. Would, yeah, <laughs> but uh, but anyway, all all of them sat there very nicely and mm. lightly, and uh, and all of them uh, uh, registered, and uh, 
And some, uh, when they started to read the, the partner fighting forums, uh, mm -hmm. that's the place where you sort of get, uh, uh, you can get a bit excited. Ah, they're mm -hmm. so yes. nice, very simple, very yes. simple projects, nothing exactly. too difficult. And, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, oh, this sounds nice. I, I could uh, sort of, uh, this person looks nice and, uh, mm -hmm. and I could, uh, you know, make a contact. And mm -hmm. So that's also. Nice. That's my experience also, that when they see the contact and the different possibilities of a project, yeah. uh, they sort of, yes, uh, I understand this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So mm. they have this idea of international projects through what Comenius yes, I agree. used to be. Mm. So it means that you have, it takes a week to, mm -hmm. to fill in the, the <laughs> right. terrible <laughs> application right. form and, yeah. and, uh, and then uh, it's all a, a lot of um, administration and mm. bureaucracy and mm. following the budget and things like that. Mm. So luckily, luckily when, you can skip yeah. all that in, in eat Yeah, winning. in eat winning. that's so right. Of course, you, you don't get any funds either, but I mean, yeah. you get the contacts. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 And mm. uh, of course, also the other other thing that's, um, that's uh, sort of... Um, made people more active uh, actively contact me and ask me to mm. to come to give workshops is because Erasmus plus mm. Uh, mm. it's sort of not uh, uh, not um, th there th there is this question about are you having a twinning uh, mm. project or are you going mm. to mm. use a twinning and you get sort of extra points if you you have this e twinning mm -hmm. contact and mm -hmm. yeah. and, that's, and people are you know they are um, sort of uh, they tend to write their some promises mm. about e twinning because mm. they feel that it, it maybe it's just a question about one point <laughs> of mm. for being accepted or uh -huh. not mm. and then uh, when they have written that, they of course they have to sort of uh, fulfill their their promise or their mm. uh, so plan. So um, so I've been I've been uh, uh, giving uh, um, a sort of workshop for Erasmus Plus projects uh, mm. in their first meeting in their yeah. first uh, mobility. Mm. So there have been besides Finnish teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, teachers from different European countries. Mm -hmm. So is it Learning. is it common in, in Finland, Tina, that, that uh, like e-tuning projects are connected to like Erasmus projects? <laughs> These days it's, it's starting to be, yeah. yeah. It, it didn't used to be. They, mm -hmm. it, was, uh, and uh, but it was a different culture for Eras. Comenius was different. It was they, they, it was it concentrated on the mobilities and right. not. Uh, but, I mean, part of Erasmus Plus concentrates on the mobility as well, right? Well, mm -hmm. I think it's more. Li it's more. They uh, demand more uh, sort of uh, substance, uh, substance mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. between the mobilities. So yeah, you I have to have right. these students. Right. They they also demand more student uh, engagement. Mm -hmm. So not just uh, teachers, uh, mm -hmm. students, uh, and they 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 want uh, students also to take part in the mobilities and mm -hmm. uh, and so on. So it's. Um, um, it's it's changed uh, slowly, hmm. but it's changing. Yeah. In hmm. fact, um, we, our our good friend and colleague in Italy, Marilina, she couldn't, by the hmm. way, join, join us this time. She had uh, like a meeting with with parents at school, hmm. I think. Well, Marilina, she's working in the evening. Hmm. Well, I don't think she works actually. I don't think she works that late <laughs> normally. Mm -hmm. uh, compared to our hours, I think they quit kind of early, if I got it right. But anyway, uh, today she'll be working. Yeah, uh, if, mm. if you're if in Italy, if you're, you're a primary teacher, I think uh, most of the days they stop at 1 o'clock. So I think it was something they, like they that. They might have uh, one or two afternoons with yeah, the yeah. two sounds, lessons sounds like a, lessons like after dream. the very long lunch break. <laughs> sounds like a dream, <laughs> dream to me. But anyway, uh, the, the reason I, I uh, mentioned her sp specifically mm. now uh, is that uh, that sh she had this this great project idea, um, mm -hmm. like um, a combo e-twinning and, and Erasmus Plus project, mm. um, focusing on on um, this gaming gaming oh, yeah. games and, and education, uh, mm. and uh, it was it was 
pretty darn good, and mm. uh, I would have loved to be part of it. Mm. And uh, uh, the application was sent, of course, to the Italian agency, mm. and we got thumbs down. Mm. Mm. So, did you, what, what, what did, uh, what kind of points did you get, or, or do you know? I the think, she's. Uh, I've never been, never been, you know, too good at at, at this, uh, this mm. point <laughs> point stuff. But, uh, but I guess they had really, really high limit for yeah. projects yeah. that that got approved. Mm. Something yeah. like I don't know, is it if it's hundred maximum, or something mm. like ninety five at least? Mm. Okay. That sounds like what? Mm. Yeah, that's. And really of course, it depends. I guess, as most things, on, on the people who are evaluating the projects as well, uh, how yeah. they, uh, you know, weigh different things. But uh, mm. Marilena put lots of work into yeah, the application, sure. and yeah. I tried mm. to, and the other part, other other uh, partners to be uh, help. We helped as much as we could, of course. Mm. And I, I really think it is a pretty darn good project idea mm. and a good application. Mm. So. Uh, Hopefully we'll be, uh, you know, like uh, working on it a little bit and uh, and trying again mm -hmm. uh, next time. I think w when is the the deadline? Is it sometime in in November or December? No, no, round? no. It's it's in uh, in March. In the, March. Okay. Yeah, the thirty thirty first of March. All something. right. All right. Yeah. Really? Shouldn't mm -hmm. that that could. Could be definitely be done because yeah. I don't I don't want to let go of, of this thing. Yeah. Yeah. It really yeah. felt too. But good you could to also go. also sort of check out which country mm. uh, you try to put your application. Absolutely, so, absolutely. So Italy is uh, I suppose they they have so many applications. They have tons of applications. Yeah. I'm pretty so, sure. But in in Scandinavian countries, mm. it yep. might be easier. Mm. Uh, we've been talking about that. We'll mm. be we'll be trying in in Sweden, I think. Mm. Um, but have you already started an e-twinning project? Mm. Uh, there for, was for, an e-twinning e-twinning project because I was in, in involved in Marilena's e-twinning yes. project. Mm -hmm. uh, but for me, it was uh, very difficult because I don't have students. But mm. she invited and she wanted mm. to have my sort of advice and mm -hmm. sort of uh, I was sort of mentoring that mm -hmm. thing and. And it was actually quite fun because mm. um, because uh, um, at that time when she started, it was they were using very basic, uh, you know, learning games mm -hmm. with the uh, with a carrot and a stick sort of yeah, yeah, learning right. games and <laughs> yeah. and uh, and I was suggesting um, sort of sort of making your own games or mm -hmm. s students expanding planning it. their yeah expanding it and mm -hmm. and she 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 did all that so mm -hmm. there are some so I think really it's it's it's, uh, it's um, developed from the e twinning project yeah. very yeah, much mm -hmm. yeah. there are some really neat ideas you can apply to lots of of different different um, Fields or or, or uh, you know like subjects mm -hmm. in school, um, you can. I, I'm pretty sure you can like even even go beyond games as such mm -hmm. and uh, get try to try to apply the the uh, games thinking a little mm -hmm. bit and and motivational. Oh, oh, computational. Stuff. Yeah. Computational. Well, that too. Yeah. Absolutely, that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I th I really find it really really exciting. Mm. That's I think if you if you'd add computational thinking mm -hmm. to your project, I think mm -hmm. that might just just uh, raise it mm. above. Uh, that is a really good idea yeah. to, to like Bar. underline it a little bit more. Yeah, it, it was a part of it, but not like uh, if I remember correctly, not, not you know like very much in the forefront. Yeah, yeah. could yeah. zero in on on that. A bit more, absolutely. I write that. I make a note. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I've been talking with with uh, my principal about this as well. That that probably we will try again. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And I, I know Marilena would would like to do that. So uh, yeah. I don't know about the other other partners uh, that were intended to be be joining, uh, but uh, I think uh, I, that's that's the uh, the least of the problems to find. Uh, mm -hmm. Find colleagues and schools that are interested. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah. Not really. But mm -hmm. I, of course, you've got to have people that that you know can can pull it through. You know, and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. w w are devoted to mm -hmm. to, to um, work between De the mobility. Devoted to the well. cause. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's, uh, things like that they don't just don't work if you just uh, concentrate everything. Uh, yeah, and like you said earlier, one. Tina, the the hmm. the Erasmus Plus projects, uh, especially when they are kind of large, mm. you really have to know your stuff and see to it that mm. that you get a real you know product out of this mm. thing. That that is is uh, something that that uh, you know like that that's something along the lines the whole whole project was was designed mm -hmm. on. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise you are, you are in yeah. big trouble. I think. But, but I see in uh, in Norway we have um, um, a, ch a sort of a new um, some new ideas about how uh, the future school should be. And uh, it's uh, discussed more and more that it should be a bit more deeper learning. Yeah. But yeah. We haven't got any a new curriculum yet, but I'm thinking that sh I don't think it's too far away. And what, what is what is the the uh, like the the framework for for this deeper learning? In, it's in that uh, it's in the which and it's called Ludwigsen uh, the Ludwigsen Committee. They have worked uh, out the document, and uh, one of the main ideas is that stu students should work uh, and learn fewer uh, topics and. Yes. Work more with each topic. Your facts. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I, I, I think that is inspired also by the Finnish new curriculum yeah. and the ideas there. I think that's because a lot of uh, Norwegian uh, politicians and educators look to Finland. Mm -hmm. and, Same thing. Um, yes, of see? course. So, and I think that it makes a good case for each winning. Mm -hmm. So that project-based learning uh, mm -hmm. tied to the curriculum, but it's more. Um, Openness now that to spend time with students in the projects uh, right. that will work with different uh, subjects around a topic that that's actually you know really well time well spent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's also uh, uh, in Finland. It's uh, uh, called also the, uh, 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 design uh, um, oriented pedagogy. So mm -hmm. DOP pedag. DOP is the, mm -hmm. the OP, it, and it means that the students are involved in, mm -hmm. in uh, the design of the whole project. Okay. So they are in, okay. uh, involved in, in, in mm -hmm. choosing the topics and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, finding the information and mm -hmm. throughout. So it's not like they are only there when mm -hmm. they, they study the information mm -hmm. that the teacher has chosen for them, mm -hmm. but they are uh, involved Right from the big beginning, the whole circle. So, mm -hmm. so um, mm. that's what um, we're doing in Finland. That means that's mm -hmm. also about the deep learning. So it's um, yeah. it's not uh, about l learning by facts, by no. heart, and heart uh, but it's like thinking, concentrating on complex thinking and complex sort of uh, phenomena mm -hmm. uh, that need to be studied from different angles. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. I think that's really interesting. Also, what it uh, affects our um, lessons, planning of lessons, and uh, incorporating e-twinning is easier, I think, with this kind of thinking. Yeah. 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 So I've got uh, all my classes involved in twinning. That's cool. <laughs> I, I really yeah. must get into the thick of it somehow now as well, since I have I have this great great bunch of students. Really, I must say, uh, I'm 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 really glad uh, working with with these guys, uh, like a seventh grade yes. in, in Swedish. So they are thirteen. Mm -hmm. Yes, same and, age as mine. Yeah. All right. Mm. They're a really nice group. You know. Mm. Like everyone is trying his and her best, you mm. know, pretty much always, mm. and really, really neat the way they work together. Mm -hmm. So it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa I'm, mm. you know, it's really, really, really lots of fun working mm. with those, those guys. Mm. And uh, yeah, I must, I must get into something, you know, some some kind of cool project with these folks since yeah. it, it was really, <laughs> really fun and a great experience for them. I'm pretty, mm. and for me. Yeah. <laughs> Right. That's right. the thing. I think it's, I think so too. That uh, uh, it gives us uh, inspiration also because and, and I think also that it's a trend more like personal development for yeah, teachers. Absolutely, absolutely. 
See, so and that uh, schools don't really provide that much uh, development, really. So you, it, no. I, I'm thinking that maybe you have to do it more on your own initiative, and uh, just participating in the neat winning project will be part of that because you'll get in ideas from others. You'll try new things. So I think that um, is a great step for anyone to just try. Absolutely. Actually, I'm. I'm. It would be really lots of fun if if this uh, this project Marilena uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, came up with this this gaming thing if we could get it get it accepted and and uh, then if I could have my my seventh graders mm -hmm. involved in that that would be tons yes. of fun for heaven's yes. sake I would love that yes. so I know you have some good experiences just you know pending approval <laughs> yeah yeah right absolutely. <laughs> So we'll we'll see what happens. I and took yeah. Tina, yesterday, uh, yeah, just uh, to another direction. I, yesterday, I took part in the ambassadors training webinar given by the CSS. Were you there, Helen? I know well? I noticed that, oh. but I had no way of of, of joining. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, it it was the. Um, yeah, it was rather late in the evening. Mm. In Finnish, in Finland, it was not, um, seven o'clock. Okay. Okay. And uh, but it was it was sort of interesting because they now showed the you know, the working of of the um, Adobe uh, Connect uh, okay you're right All live right. environment that Ooh. you can uh, use but I think so far you can use it uh, uh, only with the teachers so you can <coughs> create an event for teachers uh, in the in the eTwinning live environment mm. and then in the twin space I think it in the twin space it also works for teachers uh, project meetings or mm -hmm. things like that that uh, not yet uh, it doesn't yet work for for, for students which is oh. I, I'm not. I'm not certain, but I know I'm taking part in the ambassadors course that's uh, ongoing just now, and one of our tasks is to create an, a live event. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I have participated in someone else's event that was, you know, just testing. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to uh, have an open event for everyone yet, yeah. Be yeah. because. Because it there were too many things I I didn't quite feel I knew, yeah. and uh, it was a li little bit more like where do we do this? Uh, do I press here or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And I think okay, if I'm going to have a course, I'd I'd like to know the tools a bit better. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But yeah. but we're testing it out. Uh, yeah. um, and I say I just uh, Helen, have you been yeah. using Adobe Connect earlier? No. 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 Tina, so, you've been using it. Yeah, yeah. I had uh, my own uh, Adobe Connect room for yeah, two right. years, mm. so yeah. I was very, uh, very sort of. I was very happy of having yeah. this, but it it, it is a, a. I don't know. It's a, it is a bit. Uh, I don't. Uh, now that it's new, there are quite a lot of slots for your events, so they're free slots. But. Mm -hmm. I, but then I don't know when, uh, when because there is you can't have many s sessions at the same time. So, so when when it gets m more and more sort of popular and people learn to know about it, it can be very hard to find a a, a good slot for your mm. for your event or meeting meeting. Uh, maybe um, it's easier to find it in in Twin Space. Uh, mm -hmm. But then in Twin Space, I don't know if you can invite anyone outside your project. You can all, only uh, have the the, uh, the mm -hmm. live meeting for your project partners. Okay, I, I think so. I, I, so there I are these so. limitations so mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they and and they were a bit um, sort of. Um, I don't know. Um, maybe nervous, maybe embarrassed about the the thing that there were these limitations, and there were people asking difficult okay. <laughs> questions and so okay. on. So they were sort of, uh, "Come on, it's just we're just starting." Yeah, and, yeah, 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 it, yeah, sure. it has some uh, limitations, sure. and we'll see what what will happen. And mm -hmm. and I think um, also that the ambassadors' courts taking place now is a really good way for them to uh, see what needs to be yeah. sort of up updated a little yeah. bit before we use it in a large scale so, so it's Helene, definitely that, interesting to be part of yeah. yeah so that course Helen it's it's like run uh, centrally 
Yes. Um, I think you, uh, in Norway anyway, we could volunteer. So mm. I think she had, Elizabeth had got uh, a couple of places, mm. and uh, anyone who would like to participate could. And it goes on until I think next year sometime, uh, okay. fe February, March, maybe. I'm. I don't Nilo, remember. You, Nilo, you can remember maybe that. Uh, when we took part in the ambassadors meeting in Cyprus, uh, be, uh, before that mm. uh, we were supposed to take part in the ambassadors course. Of course, yeah, it was. Yeah, we, uh, we did. We did. Yeah, <laughs> and we we took part in that. I, um, even yeah. I did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which is pretty amazing, actually. Yeah, I can't remember if I passed it. Yep, yep sure thing. <laughs> but we, I took part in it yeah. anyway, and and I think this is the same kind of a course. It of course it's uh, developed with the new Absolutely. tools and so yeah. on, but uh, yeah. basically it's the same. Yeah, yeah same I guess so. Course. I guess yeah. so. I think so, uh, and I think it's a good idea to have uh, to try out, especially for yeah. me, the e-twinning live. Uh, so it was a great uh, start to get to know the new changes because yeah. there definitely is a, a lot of new features. Right. To, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. It's talking true. About, talking about yeah. Adobe Connect, uh, I, I came to think of our good friend Alistair Creelman right away yes. since he pretty much lives within yes. Adobe Connect. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, he's he's the the wizard with Adobe Connect for sure. It's good to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if there's something you want to ask, I yes. bet he knows everything yeah, you can about it. You know. Also, ask me. So yes. I yeah, and he will be and and it pretty much as well. To, uh, your, if you want to yes. um, invite me to your event, and and I can come and and and. Uh, Give you advice. On that would be. I think that would be great. I, I, I'm not certain if I'd like to go live on it yeah. because there is an option to try out the uh, the to have a live event and to plan yeah. it, but not to go live. Helena, yeah. Helena, go yeah. live or go home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll remember that, Nilo. <laughs> You'll have to participate. You know? I'll set go up live this, or go uh, home. event at you know Wednesday at eleven o'clock, and I'll say, Nilo, you'll have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Actually, I stole that slogan from from a, a U.S. Uh, yeah. friend, I might say. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I guess he's pretty much like a pro uh, podcaster. Yeah. And and he he uses this workflow we are using now, like yeah. uh, Hangouts on Air, yeah. and then uh, ripping the audio out of that and mm -hmm. using the audio for uh, for podcast episodes. So, so he's doing he's been doing that for quite a long time, and that's his slogan: go live or go home. I kind of like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll remember it now. <laughs> It's it's but well it's the, the idea. There's something very nice about. Of course, if you're learning, I don't know if sure, sure, people sure. will learn about your mistakes. They will just get very pissed yeah, <laughs> and yeah, not learn might. anything. But, they might. but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the that, idea of sharing and being yeah. as open as possible. It yeah, is. I, I like think it. it's sure. a good principle. So yeah. Yeah. so. Yeah, um, Sure thing. Uh, by the way, talking about getting on board and and, and this stuff. So um, uh, we've been actually talking quite a bit about um, getting getting new folks uh, on board, e twinning, and, and different ways of of, uh, of going about that. But what about getting folks here in the show? Yeah, okay. uh, actually, I have yeah. been um, I've been doing something here. Um, you know, I, I've been. I've been thinking about this this interview thing as well. Uh, I guess I mentioned it way back. And have we had we have had some have we had any interviews on e twinning on air? Like, uh, yeah, kind of, kind of. We have. Uh, oh, Helena twice here. That's <laughs> yes. <cool. laughs> How did you that know, happen? You know, I my computer just lost all the electricity, so Whoa. I had to. Uh, I had to. It's just logging off, so I just have to join you again in um, well, on my smartphone and pretty, say that it was pretty great. amazing. Pretty amazing. Yeah, you you, you pulled it off yeah. perfectly seamlessly. I I would have just gone dark, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I must check. I just do wanted I have, to, do to I have take power the here. Yes, I, do. <laughs> I just want to take the opportunity to say thanks for a great meeting. Yeah, uh, absolutely. yet we again. Yeah. It was great yeah. to meet you. Again. Be before yeah. we be before yeah. we let you go, Helena. By the way, yeah. I was just trying to figure out uh, the um, the date.
for, for next time. Uh, I'm looking at November 3 here a bit. Would that be yeah. something for you guys? Um, I'm thinking... Uh, that's Tuesday as well. Yeah, uh, that's a Tuesday. I think most Tuesday I will uh, I will make it. I might be mm. five or ten, ten minutes late yeah, sometimes, but matter. most no, yeah. Yeah. most doesn't often matter. Tuesdays this time is... Yeah. What about uh, you, Fiona? Would it possibly work? Uh, y yeah, I'd be in Tampere um, and leaving at uh, four o'clock finish time, so uh, I'd, I'd be at home at... Uh, uh, Five o'clock, so that would be the if he, five o'clock. Yeah, okay, okay, four, yeah, for for, for uh, central four, four European, central European five o'clock yeah. finish, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. cool, cool. I guess we'll um, I'll take a look at that. That might might be it. Yeah. And then, yeah, talking about interviews, uh, mm -hmm. actually, this is not set yet, but uh, it looks promising right now that uh, we might get Anne Gilleran uh, on right. the line. Oh, that would be tons of fun. Very interesting. Yeah. Very yeah. interesting. Very I mean, nice. it's a matter of of get finding yeah. finding like a, a uh, hole in her kind of calendar. Busy calendar, calendar, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and I try to be flexible, so I have no idea yet about the date or timing. Mm -hmm. I try to, tr if it works for her, I try to um, suggest you know like late afternoon like this. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And she she's very positive, so. Uh, I have high hopes that that she will be mm -hmm. on board on board sometime mm. later on, and, and of course yeah. I'll, I'll tell you guys as soon as I um, get the uh, yeah. get the date and time, and it would be yes. fun having having a couple of couple of ambassadors there, uh, you know, like uh, perhaps I have a little bit of of, of a, a extremely loose script, but yeah. I mean mm. it would be just fine having kind mm. of a, a a chat where, where yeah, uh, yeah, not just several. interview, but a, yeah. sort of a, a yeah. small group, small, yeah. small group uh, conversation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, group. Yeah. three, yes. four people would be just fine. I yeah, think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. So I just wanted to nice. wanted to yeah. you know, like, uh, <laughs> tell you guys what might be coming up. Yeah, and that sounds if good. you folks and any yeah. other, yeah. Uh, any others watching, listening, all the thousands of people, mm -hmm. uh, if if you have and you do have connections, for heaven's sake, mm -hmm. like crazy, just. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, tell whoever it is that mm -hmm. that uh, it would be fun to get people uh, into the show, and you know, it could be like uh, it doesn't matter if it's someone just getting started or or mm -hmm. one of the hot shots on on top of the the uh, <laughs> top well, of the yeah. game, whatever. So so that's fine as well. Mm -hmm. Would yeah, be but... would be fun. So just let me know in that case, and I can take the contacts if you like to or whatever. So. Yeah. Yes. Like Great. If we, when, when we have the uh, ambassadors group mm -hmm. established mm -hmm. again, uh, then yes. we could uh, sort of um, promote the, these uh, meetings, these meetings uh, there as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. And you me were mentioned in Helsinki also as the yeah. podcast king. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm the podcast king. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you right. Were, yeah, Hangout Guru. Yes, Hangout Podcast Guru. King. Hangout yes, Guru Podcast I think that's King. You can add well, those. You think. <laughs> both, both are fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing, you know, yeah. same thing. Good. On that amazing bombshell, yeah. I guess we call it quits. Yeah. Um, okay. Have yep. a great week, both of you, and thanks for today. So, uh, have, and have, a, have a great evening, have a yeah. great yeah. week, and thanks for jumping in as usual. Um, yeah. See waving goodbye. Yeah, we yeah. have to wave goodbye. See you okay. soon. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.